Hey SWAT team, yes it's me doing a video, <laughs> can you believe it? So we've had some questions about the belly band that we've been doing or using for our dog Gizmo. Um, Gizmo is our Lhasa Apsa who has been sick, uh, turns out that he's hypothyroid and glaucoma, but he had been having problems um, controlling his bladder. He would just pee for no reason and it would kind of scare him. So we have these belly bands for him. And what this is, it's kind of like a diaper or underwear for a dog that Velcros around their belly. The inside has a little absorbent pad, but they don't hold very much. So it actually will soak through. You can buy in the store some disposable ones, but they're expensive. And again, they don't hold very much. So here's what we use. Maxi pads. Yep, maxi pads. Just like you would use ladies for that time. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to set them up inside the belly band so that your male dog doesn't have an accident in your RV while you're gone on your work camping job or while you're out sightseeing. First thing you need to do, you need to lay out your belly band and also for the belly bands too, whenever you go to order some on Amazon, we'll put the link for these. You need to measure the dog's belly from where the hips meets the, the stomach. So you're gonna take your maxi pad, take it out, and the size of the belly band is gonna determine how many maxi pads you need. Here's one end of the uh, one that's inside and here's the other end of the one that's inside. You're just going to line it up with that. I like to line it up with the outside of the belly band as well so that there's no spillage if the belly band slides while the dog is wearing it. For Gizmo's side, or size rather, we have to use three of these. So I'm going to line these up right next to each other. And put a third one in. It's okay if they overlap. It's actually pretty good if they overlap because you know that there's more protection there. And that's it. Looks like a big old diaper, but we call it his underwear. So now what we're gonna do is have Gizmo model his fancy underwear for you. Come here, baby. Come here. Put your underwear on. He's blind, so he gets a little nervous sometimes. So what you're going to do for the male dog, their little stuff <laughs> is in a certain spot. All you have to do is make sure that it's covered by the maxi pads. Put it on him. There you go. Stretch your stuff, baby. And it's comfortable for him to lay down in. He can wear it overnight, so if he has to go in the middle of the night and can't wake us up in time, then he's protected. The RV is protected. The floor, the bed, the furniture, everything is protect protected. All right, so we also have another dog who's smaller than Gizmo is. We have our Chinese Crested. He has a little tiny waist. So this is his belly band and his holds too. As you can see, quite a bit smaller than Gizmo's. But same concept. You just lay one next to the other, overlap a little bit if you want to. So let's see if he'll model his. Gadget, come see. Come see, baby. All right, baby. Assume the position. You know the routine. Good boy. Again, you just make sure their little wee wee is covered. Wrap it around him. Boom, he's done. Look at there. He's got his underwear. Sometimes we'll do his on a rainy day because he doesn't like to go outside and get his feet wet. 
So if he refuses to go outside, then we'll put the belly band on him and, and say, all right, don't do anything nasty. Look at there. What a cutie. There you have it. That's our solution to an incontinent dog in an RV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you get notifications, and we'll see you in the next video.